Lord, save me, Lord. Technology has become... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Welcome. Welcome to this week's edition of Nita Be Done. I'm Gregory Patrick. And I'm Philip Champlain. Nice to see you again, Philip. You've been gone for so long. He's been gaming the last couple of days, and I just see him over in the corning corning? Over, in, over in the corner moaning and groaning and I was killing some bitches today. Yeah. For like the last I think I played 13 hours already. Really? Yeah, it's not even a couple hours. <laughs> It's 13 hours. Yeah, you gotta get right with yourself, man. Well, Find something new. I did. <laughs> it's all virtual reality. I just got it. Yeah. Sorry. I guess, once again, it keeps them off the streets. Keeps them home and safe. Yeah, there are other things I could be doing with yeah. my time. Every once in a while, he'll get up and get himself a hot dog. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Have a glass of water. Yeah. Pee. Pee. I mean, I'm yeah. surprised you haven't done like that astronaut chick did, where she drove from... Texas to Florida. Have you noticed? I've taken a, a break. I've taken a break to do the show. I had to get there. So he, I have a 27 minute break before I have to go back to work. Um, right now I'm farming and building a settlement, so it takes a little time. Can you imagine that conversation? So, what'd you do today, sweetheart? Well, um, in, in my apocalyptic world, I have grown <laughs> settlements. Today I am farming, and I have to find people to come there and live. Okay. Yes. All right. I think that's pretty good. What What I did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Killed some Killed some things. Some evil guys. <laughs> or not so evil guys. Apparently, I murdered three people. I didn't even know it. You didn't even know you I killed didn't people. Even know. I, well, I mean, I knew I was killing people. I just didn't realize those three people I weren't allowed to kill. Find your flow. Find your flow. Yeah, you're the only one. Feet on the floor. Come on, Jam. Both feet on the floor. Are you sure you're not too high? Seem, you seem a little taller. Did you raise the stool? No. Are you sure? No, you quit slouching. <laughs> I, look, I'm standing up and you're, if you I've stand up. I've got perfect you're... posture. Give me a book. Put it on my head. You'll see. No, I'm just kidding. You don't need to do that. <laughs> okay, let's once again try and, you know, uh, we haven't quite figured out our curtain again. If you've seen our old episodes, we had this down perfectly. I mean... We've grown. I don't know what's happened. I think we've grown. But we'll just make it a running joke from now on that these two guys have a curtain. Well, you always knew it was a curtain. curtain. Yeah, I didn't build no board. No. It's a bed no. sheet. You know, it's our mock background. Yes. You don't need to see the kitchen. Not in the state it's in right now. No. Sometimes we live like bachelors. Yeah. yeah. We're two men. We're two men. We live like two men live. Yeah. Yes. However, our decorating styles are pretty funny. It's like Pottery Barn meets Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> okay. Let's do a quick rundown of last week. Okay? Okay. So, last week I asked people to help me find what socks I was knitting. Come to find out, they are Barocco Comfort Socks. Oh, yes. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yes, that we did get an answer. Right. For that. Okay, now apparently there is a difference between Barocco socks with an X. Yes. And Barocco comfort socks. And I have been I have been knitting the Barocco comfort socks. Okay. And I cannot wait. It's an eight dollar skein. I cannot wait to get another one. Is this one of them? No. Oh. That's hey, well let hey. This is the other one he's been working on. <laughs> oh <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> She watches the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and I can't edit it either, so I can't. Shh, 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 shh. Nobody saw those Anything socks. Tough. And we'll explain why in about three or four episodes. Sure. You can't see them right now. Okay. <coughs> so, but, so thank you for everyone who helped me figure out what socks they were. Sure. I think these were called Beach House. Yeah, oddly enough, I'm wearing the same socks I was wearing last week. I have changed them. It's just that somehow in my rotation, these ended up being my Sunday socks. Rotation. I did rotate. I have cleaned myself. Don't you worry. I got fresh panties, and, and I grabbed my socks, and I put them on. I was like, holy shit, they're the same pair. Anyway, the other thing we talked about was the virus. <laughs> 
<laughs> Which is quite like, beautiful. What actually. a shit name for a crochet project. I mean, really. I don't know who thought of it. I know. Here's. I kind of here, get it. Here's a virus blanket for your baby. You can imagine the mom thinking smallpox. Yeah. Shit. Thanks Thank so you. much. Was so, it malaria? I got. Yeah, really. I got. I got the yarn I had ordered and was looking for, and I got to work right it's away. It's fun. Okay, look at this. Isn't that awesome? And this is apparently a lot of fun. is a virus pattern. Yeah, I yeah. It's, uh, it, to me, it looks like little sun, uh, like horizons. Basically, I guess. a bunch of shells. Let's see if we can do it. Like, ooh, there oh, you yeah. go. Yeah, it's a bunch of shells. Shells. And I guess I want to I want to assume that the virus part comes in that it kind of um, spreads. I don't, I don't know. Can y'all come up with a better name than a virus, <laughs> a virus blanket? blanket? Yeah. You know, yes, it kid. goes. What's wrong with you people? <clears throat> now, the question I have for you this week is mm. obviously, I'm going to do a little bear to go with this and put it in my shop. And I just, I've got a ton of this exact pink right here. This pink right there. Okay. Should it be a pink bear to go with this? Or solid white. Please don't say solid white. Please don't let that be the winning vote because I don't have any solid white. Of all the colors I have in the universe, you only have all the, the pink. colors of the all rainbow. the only colors he has <laughs> is the pink. I don't have any. I white. like the blue, the little teal blue. I ain't got that color either. Well, or, I the, might actually. or the yellow. I'll have to look into it, but I definitely don't have any white. What about the yellow? So y'all leave your comments below and let me know if you think it should be a pink bear or. <gasps> You can make a little yellow bear and put a little red vest on it. Okay, I thought of this. And you maybe y'all out there have heard the same thing. You're not supposed to do baby stuff in yellow. Hey, I'm trying to sell this. It doesn't need your essence all over it. Apparently, you're not supposed to do baby stuff in yellow because yellow makes babies cry. I don't know why. It's so bright. That wasn't supposed to rhyme. <laughs> I don't know why either. Because so I always like, thought yellow was like the the alternate color to blue and pink. Well, I did that rainbow uh, crochet C to C corner to corner thing. Yeah, yeah. And I did it with uh, the, the rainbow thing I had. Yeah, yeah. And then the corresponding bear was yellow. Uh huh. And it wasn't selling for shit. And somebody said. And somebody said the, probably the reason is. People don't buy baby stuff in yellow because it makes babies Fucking cry. Winnie the Pooh is yellow. And I'm like, yeah, no, he's more of an orange. Yeah. He's more of an orange. Or a cantaloupe. <laughs> he's a cantaloupe, a cantaloupe color. He's more of a cantaloupe color. So, um, hold, hold my hand. Oh, hold right. my We're hand. going deep. I don't know how strong I am today, oh, honey. I've been, I've been oh, shooting. you got to be stronger than that. Oh, come, you're going to make me fall. Oh, you're doing this on purpose. I don't trust your ass. <laughs> I got you. Go, reach. Okay, I'm, I'm reaching. Reach for it. I'm reaching. I'm oh. getting it. Okay. Woo. Okay, the pattern oh, was yes. done with this um, Lion Brand ice cream yarn. Slow big down. scoop. Yeah, big scoop. Um, big tutti Fruity. Small, big scoop? I, on the website, it's called oh, Big Scoop. Okay. But the, the uh, colorway is called Tutti Fruity. Earth. I got this pattern and this idea from his name. I told you I was going to figure it out. His name is Fiber Spider on YouTube. And his tutorial. We did the, it's like a crochet along. You do the blanket with him, and after about an hour, you're on your own. He's very tame, very, very feminine. Very, I wouldn't say that. He might be watching and be like, bitch, please. You know? <laughs> if you could deal talk about it. a feminine, <laughs> look at your husband, that scrawny little girly pottery look, barn. Look, yeah, sorry, sir. I didn't ever see your face. Get rude. But I th first thought it was an elderly woman. <laughs> Fiber spider, I get you, because I have little old lady day, you know, I do, where I, you know, sit back after taking a I'm nice sorry. bath in my, you know, in your, my big comfy pajamas, my suit to did sip Did you on. say your bath? You didn't finish your bath with your grandma, so. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Fiber spider, my apologies. But just go onto YouTube yes. and, and, and it was, um, no, by search the way, for Fiber Spider. It was a great tutorial. He's got really good tutorials. He's very calm. He's very direct. And he also, what I loved about his tutorial, what is he said, don't do this mistake because I make this mistake often. Mm. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people Fair. are like, I'm perfect at what I do. Just I never make a mistake. There is this British bitch. I'm not going to say her name because that would just be mean. He, but he, I think he, some of you might know who I'm talking about. He may, have, he may have narrowed it down by an entire country. Okay, but anyway, I don't like her tutorials because she has to constantly say, okay, we call it treble, in the U.S. you call it double. After the fifth time, I'm like, I got it, treble is double, treble is double. But she slows down her tutorial by trying to say, in the U.K. we call it this, and you Americans call it that. 
And I'm like, just sell your videos too. Just say it once or twice. Well, I mean, we got it. We got it. Let's move, let's move along with the pattern. I, I mean, yeah. hypercritical I am today. Well, this is a Patreon only show. Today. Sorry, Miss English. <laughs> um, I understand that I think it's great that you would actually say what it is in England, especially if you're English and you're, you're trying to sell it to an American audience. You know, they're only buying it because you sound like Mary I don't Poppins. mind that she says that. Right. Yeah. I just apparently buy it every you, time. Let's apparently say, apparently okay, you know, do. Look, okay, look, uh -huh. I'll give you an example. Yeah. Okay, this um, crochet, uh -huh. this uh, virus shawl starts with, you do 20 treble crochets or double crochets in the same ring. And after the, okay. Now Is that what she says it? Do another treble crochet. Or if you're in the U.S., it's a double crochet. Now do another treble crochet. But if you're in the U.S., it's a double crochet. And you're like, oh my God, dude. Well, she's trying to get to, to another audience that doesn't speak English. You're missing my point. I'm not. I don't care that she says it. I care that she says it. 30,000 times! She's turned it into a drinking game. Yeah. You oh, never probably it wouldn't get past the first fucking round. I mean, just saying. Ladies, can you feel what I'm saying? Oh, you messed it up. What? Oh, you're right. <laughs> this is a fucking sheet? Yeah. I, dude, it doesn't matter anymore. I don't know what you did. The sheet's just it's there. Like you it's should just be, to hide the kitchen. There we go. Well, you should be right. down further. And you should quit. Tut Everything is fine. Everything Did you hear him? Fine. Did you hear him? I said quit touching. Quit touching things. Like, I am four years old. Yes. Okay. So. All right. So. Let's do a shipping review with all this oh. yarn we've been working with, right? Hey, we, tried got, to do, we tried to do this last week. And on the review, we're gonna, I'm going to throw a little sideways one in because of my experience for the week, too. Well, let's just start with yours. Well, mine was fucking thank you, GameStop. <laughs> this little woman must well, have had a forked tongue because everything that came out of her mouth was a lie. <laughs> no, I disagree. You disagree. I disagree. So, <laughs> let me... See, I said to her... I'm really hoping that it gets here by the weekend because I've got the next two days off. And what did she say? Oh, I'm sure it'll be here by before Saturday. And when did you ask her this? It was Friday. See? <laughs> she didn't lie to me. She him. didn't lie to me at all. Yeah, Unfortunately, oh yeah, it'll be here before Saturday. It was the following next Saturday. Saturday. So it took a week. <coughs> it did take and a week. And when it got it? here, don't let me tell you, because you ain't heard it from me. <laughs> But that shit was busted in my box. He didn't want to gossip. I had to put it back together a little. He did. Yes, there was a broken piece that I and had then, to put back in. And then, <laughs> Lord save me, Lord. Technology has become... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Technology has become <laughs> stupid. Because that's pretty much what I had to do. <laughs> you had to For 12 it, hours, it I was, had to actually, wait. It was close to 18 It was to more 20. close to 18 to 20 hours. To 18 to 20. For a single game to download so I could play it. Yeah, he's been talking about his Xbox this whole time, in case you haven't kind of figured, figured that out. Figured it out, yeah. that's all that's on his head right, right now. now. I apologize. And you know, I gotta tell you, the funny thing about watching this fool was every morning when he got up to it, he'd have his coffee and he'd check it. Okay, it's in Louisville, it's Kentucky. It's Louisville, Kentucky. They've signed for it in Louisville. And then the final day, he's like, like, 13 hours away. <laughs> the final day, he was like, Hey, where's Longwood? I'm like, it's about 20, 20 minutes, minutes north. north. Yeah. And he was like, it's in Longwood. It's in Longwood. Can we just go get it? <laughs> yeah. There's a reason they don't have GPS tracking on the packages. Because they shit. don't want you hunting down the driver going, give me my package. <laughs> well, I was ready for it. And then Xbox decided to give me a giant sexual toy to put up my bottom and make me wait for 18 hours because I'd already driven my husband crazy. Did I put it up? Yes, because at some point I finally said, sweetheart, here's all I can guarantee. It will get here when, when it, it gets, gets here. here. And <clears throat> nothing you do is going to make it get here faster. And you know what I got for my time waiting? I know a whole box of waiting. Right. <laughs> I got a whole box of waiting. But that is your moment of zen. Uh, fair. Understanding. I don't have any. Nothing I do is going to make this happen faster. Well, I could have barely had any patience left. Oh. So. Okay, my turn. Okay. okay. So, I ordered all this yarn, yes. and I ordered it from three different places. So, I'm going to give you a quick review of yarn shopping online, okay? Now, I use the big people, Joann's, yes. Michael's, yes. Amazon. Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. I Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. I'm using the 30-day trial, because that shit is worth it. Mm. It really is. Right now? Anyway, and I did the math, right? It ends up being $9 a month. I, I did not use Amazon Prime. 
No, he used games. <laughs> <No. laughs> anyway. Okay. So I ordered Joanne first. Yes. Michael second. Amazon third. Joanne's got here last. Michael's got here third. Amazon got here the next day. Amazon Prime. Two, yeah, it was like a day, 24 hour delivery time. Okay, so well, let's go through this real yes. quick, okay? Ooh. Joanne's, their shipping takes forever. Almost two weeks. It was almost two weeks. For yarn. However, the good thing is they have incredible sales. Yes. So if you don't need it right away and you can wait almost two weeks, Joanne's was a value for my money. I You're mean, right. Really, really good. You're right. Okay. Michaels. Michaels had an okay sale, but they got here in three or four days. Right. Amazon. I don't know where they keep it. Amazon. I needed one skein of something to finish the project that I needed like now. Yes. And they gave it to him. And it now. was the next day. And I feel that the Amazon really does have like the cornucopia warehouse. Yeah. There's like two of everything in the world. It's like Noah's Ark for stuff. Yeah. You know? And I think we live. I think they have a distribution center in Lakeland. They do. Which they is do. about an hour from Yes, there. yes. So I don't know if you live in BFE that you'd have that well, same you, kind of quick You even turnaround. qualify for the two-hour delivery. Yeah. Yeah. So, I get, okay. So that's my shipping rundown for any of y'all who are, like, buying yarn online. If you want good value for your money and can wait, go with your hands. I mean, it was worth what I spent. It just took a long time. If you need it right away, go with Amazon Prime. If you yeah. don't have Prime, go ahead and sign up for the 30-day free trial. And at day 29, cancel it. Quickly. <laughs> Unless you want to spend $110 for a year. Wow. Which, if we end up with any extra money, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, that's fine. It's, okay. it's worth it. It's okay. worth it. All right. And if you ever shop from GameStop, <laughs> never ever order from the store. Because the little demons behind the counter won't lie to your face. Yeah, okay, so... She said the truth. You have she to... was very sweet. She was very sweet, and she was a salesman. She was a perfect salesman. In full disclosure, mm. you have to say that you didn't buy it online. You went to the store with cash and gave it to her, and she, she ordered it online. online. She did exactly the same thing I was going to do, except she did it from her terminal. Rather than like just directly. And I thought your money. And, and I, I thought it was like, oh, that's you. great. This is directly to this, the company, the warehouse. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no, no, no. But anyway, that was my experience for the week. And now I'm happily slain and building and mutilating things. And Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to see him for a while. No. 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 But I get that from, you know, that's what marriage is like sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Because you keep it something. Uh, you just leave it all. Look at that. Cares. Just Nobody cares anymore. The whole thing just does. It's just see, wrong. No, no. You could have fixed that. Oh, no. It's, that's okay. Okay, slug ass. It's our running joke now. I mean, at some point, it's just going to fall. Someday we'll have production value. It's going to fall. Someday. Yeah. Not, not while he's still alive, us barely. So when Phil has his own show, I will have production value. We'll call costumes and characters. Live bands. Marionettes and trapeze artists. Lord mercy. Oh, ha, ha. here's the running joke for the day. My job has been doing um, uh, like a special contest for extra work. You get these little red lottery tickets or, little, you know, like, um, yeah, it's a lottery in it for prizes at the end of the month. Well, I will say that you all know that we have had trouble with the, the yarn truck as of late. And, you know, it's not running. The rope, the poor girl is still down. Um, and the guy who sold it to us is a being our mechanic. I don't have any tools. So the joke was, you know, I'd really like to get those tools for, I just think I could use them. I can work on the truck myself. Lo and behold, after fucking the truck being down this long, I won the tools in the lottery. Ta-da. Ta-da. Everybody laughed. Now we have uh, tools and no running truck. Yes. But we don't even know what the hell's wrong with it. So, but we're not stressed. See, we're not stressed. We don't care. Actually, I'm enjoying the exercise. I've been walking to work and riding my bicycle. He only works like half a mile from here. Yeah. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. No. Publix is two blocks away, so we got access to groceries and food. Yep. I'm ordering shit from Amazon Prime. <laughs> so everything is pretty much being brought to us. So 
I don't know. No. And I got a big giant shopping cart for when I have to haul back like cat litter and. Oh yeah, we bought a new roller. Yeah. Well, there is now a Rolly two. We gotta film that sometime because it is funny. Because I barely the first barely, day and everyone looked, was looking at me like, "What the hell is that?" We had a bunch of alien babies in that cart or something. You got these organic green mm, people, man, people. You know yes. who I'm talking about. Well, we looking at a, me like I'm like, "What is?" The, oh my god. We have God. our own push cart. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sa I'm saving on the environment. That's right. By walking here with my own cart. With my own shopping cart. And using my own cart with my own bags, mind you. With my own bags. That's right, bitches. Oh, and by the way, that reminds me, okay, <laughs> people keep talking about these uh these straw bands in all oh, these cities. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The real big enemy is the shopping bag. Plastic bags. Those get used every day yep. more than anything in the world. And I don't know about where you live, but, but they're where not we bad. live. You can't put them in the recycling bin. Nope. You have to take them back to the store. And here's the funny thing. I just want y'all to keep this in mind when you're out shopping and shit, okay? People will be, oh, I'm doing the noble thing. I'm using my reusable grocery bags when I go to the grocery store. However. Then you go to other stores and you get their big plastic bags with your clothes that you just bought or your electronics you just bought. And I'm like, what are you doing? Right. You just, you know, the reusable bag can be taken everywhere you go. That is true. Yeah. And they don't think that far ahead. That's the real thing we need to conquer is getting rid of these shopping bags. Uh, all together. Get rid get of them. Get your own bags. I know. I'll pay for them. You could, and all you crocheters and knitters can make your own <laughs> bags. Ta-da. 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 Out of Red Heart. Yeah, I don't use anything Don't use anything expensive. No. Use, you know, but, you know, everybody hates that you red heart. You throw that shit in the washer every dirty. once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. You can't throw your reusable bags in the supermarket in the washing machine because they're basically made of paper. Yes, they're made out of plant. Yes. You have to recycle those too. After a couple of weeks, you yes. need to get rid of them and get new ones because they start to grow bacteria. A lot of people don't know that either. Yes. Yeah. I was just going to say that. the other thing. Hold on, hold on. I'm on a rant, They, man. Not, they bowed a grade. I'm on a rant. Oh. Okay. Here's the other thing, okay? Step back, hold it back, ladies. Okay, okay, hold it back. Ah! Okay, so, <laughs> so you go to the supermarket. This happened to us, and I'm like, you fool. Okay, okay, I'm always bitching about the little shot, the, the baggers, because I'm like, man, this one's not all too together there. Okay. Be careful. I gave him my reusable bags. What did he do? He bagged them in plastic, and then put the plastic bags in the reusable bags. I'm like, but sir, didn't you want me to keep your products separate? Oh, and here's the other one. Okay, I'm, I'm on a roll. Okay, I'll get it off my chest and we'll be done. Okay. You get your reusable bags. You're buying your shit and they put everything inside and yes. they're like, okay, okay. And then they put the meat inside a plastic bag and they're like, oh, so blood doesn't get everywhere. And I'm like, if blood is dripping out of this, I would not have picked it up out of the counter, out of the case. But it could get punctured by something. No, no more than anything else that bot could get punctured. Mur I've never had a problem. Murphy's Law, sir. Always put the meat on top anyway. That's what they said. I have never had dripping hamburger. I if I had dripping hamburger beef that was bloody all over the place, it'd be like, no, this cow's still moving, man. I don't want this. That's fine. Some people like it yeah. like that. And, you know, they wrap the chicken so tight that it doesn't ooze anywhere. I walked all over Publix one time. That's what he said too. Yeah, with, you know, leaving a stream all over the place. I felt, Woo! I felt so bad. I went, <laughs> gross, <laughs> nasty, <laughs> nasty. So, <laughs> disgusting. Okay, so, cause if you're gay, you know what chicken is, okay? Uh, and if you're dripping, you know what <laughs> Why are you Chris. explaining it? Because <laughs> some people it's are still there going, funny. Anyway, so I felt so terrible. I had to go to the the the, um, the butcher and say, "Hey, man, I'm really sorry, but I have left from aisle three to nine a fucking stream of chicken. Chicken juice. gross. Yeah." And he was like, oh, don't worry about it. And immediately, I was like, thank you so much. He was just like, sure. And he grabbed those fucking, like, gloves and then he, the sanitizer. Okay. And he went to work. And um, But see, if that kind of shit's happening, I don't want that package. That package is already... That's fine. Yeah. You would already. have never... You, yes, but you are the obsessive compulsive one who pays attention to that stuff. And most random everyday people can't even get their chip card in the slot for These are also the same people that leave their kids in the backseat of a hot car because they're too focused on whatever well, is going on. This one should not say anything about that because I what think... I believe, I believe that if, I believe that you are so focused that if you had children, you mm -hmm. might leave them in your car. I have had a cat for 12, 13 years, and she is always on my mind. Fair enough. 
And she's not you even my child. You are always on my mind. I, I hate these news reports that say you should put your. <laughs> you should you calm down. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <laughs> You gotta put your kid. You gotta put your your phone and your purse next to your child so that so you, you don't can forget them in the your car. Your child is there. Yes. That's where your head is. Yes. God, yes. what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you don't deserve kids Calm anyway. Down. I'm all right. Calm I'm down. okay. That's all. That's you know. That's that's our mission statement for the week. That's what we're gonna. If you need to slash. If you need on. to fucking uh, tie your phone to your child to remember them, you may not need them. Yeah. Either I, one of them. It's not something you're even. It's okay. It's not something you can care about. You're more caring about your phone than your kid. <sighs> okay. All right. I think I'm better. And we might be done here. I think I think we're done. Okay, because okay. I got to put him to bed or something, or get him a tranquilizer. All right. We love you all. So. <laughs> um, I'm at 115 pounds now. We get higher and higher every day. He is. 15. For dinner, we're having a big giant bat of beef stew. That'll put some ribs with bread and butter. So meat on my bones. Yeah. Stick to my ribs. In a salad. Yes, we're having the whole course. And ice cream for dessert. Yay. I'm gonna get fat, y'all. I'm gonna get fit and fat. Oh, actually, look, you got a little muscle. He's so he's so skinny that look at that little tiny yeah. bicep. I don't know if you can see it or not. Do we need to get a little closer to the camera? Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that. All right, now it's, I'm it's like a, it's a little it's a little egg. <laughs> it's a little big egg. Anyway, thanks for tuning into our show this yes, week. Yes, absolutely. From here on out, the next what I guess four episodes are all going to be on Patreon. So if you're having fun, you're going to have to come and join us on Patreon to continue. Um, and so it's two bucks a month. I mean, Hulu's like nine and there's shit over there. We're a lot of fun. We try. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see y'all on Patreon next week. Uh-oh. Bye. Bye.